Hi, welcome to an episode of Cooking with Krigo. I have my niece Jade with me today. Hi guys. And boy, have we got a good video for you today. We're making Nutella, strawberry, and banana crepes. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? It's real easy to make and we're going to show you how to make it. Here are the ingredients we'll be using for the Nutella, strawberry, and banana crepes. As always, we'll have the exact measurements in the description below. But we have eggs, milk, water, flour, melted butter, sugar, and vanilla extract. For the filling, we have Nutella, strawberry, and banana. And for the topping, we have Hershey's syrup and powdered sugar. Okay, now it's time to put all the crepe mix into the blender. And again, this is just for the crepes. So first we have our eggs. We have our milk. We've got the water. Our vanilla extract. Some sugar. Melted butter. And lastly, flour. Now what's important to do here is to mix this anywhere from seven to 10 seconds. If you go anywhere past 10 seconds, then it creates gluten and then the crepes get a little bit tough. Okay, and that should be good. When making the crepes, you wanna have the right pan. I practiced this about a week ago and I had to go through like three different pans before I found the right one. The first pan was too big. The second pan was small enough, but it wasn't non-stick enough. And the third one was just right. So this is the pan we're going to be using. Okay, so nine times out of 10, the first crepe isn't gonna be the best. So you might have to go through one, two, or maybe even three until you get that perfect crepe shape. However, the best thing is, is that it's still gonna taste amazing, but if you wanna get that absolutely great crepe look, you're gonna to wanna to do it maybe a few times. So first things you wanna gonna do is you're gonna grease the pan up, make sure you get it completely greased with butter. Then you're gonna grab a quarter cup of our mix, throw that in on the pan. Then you're gonna to wanna to lift the pan up a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to go and you're gonna circle it around until the batter looks almost completely done or stops kind of moving and it slows down. This might take a second. You wanna get a good coat on the pan. Now, as you can see, it's not really moving around anymore. So now would be a good time to put it back on and wait about three minutes until it cooks. And we have our heat on medium heat. So what you're gonna be looking for while it's cooking is you're gonna be looking around the edges and you're gonna be waiting until it's dry. That when it's dry, that's when you know to flip it over. Before you flip it over, I suggest kind of peeking it up a little bit. Check how the bottom of it's looking, if it, it might have some browning to it. Just make sure it's fully cooked before you flip it over. Okay, so now we're gonna check it. So as you can see, it's a little bit brown, but we still might want to wait another few seconds just for it to get a little bit more brown and then it'll be time to flip. Now let's try to look and see if it's all ready. This is what you're going to want to be looking for. So let's go ahead to flip. You want to look at that nice golden brown. It'll take less long to cook on the other side because it's pretty thin, so it already kind of cooks up. So now it's been waiting on the other side. It's been, I'd say probably less than a minute. Time to look. Okay, it looks like it's all ready. Now we can take it off and put it on our plate. Okay, so now it's time to assemble the actual crate itself. So first we're going to start out with some Nutella. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a nice even base layer on our crepe. Like so. We're going to try to avoid the edges just so that it doesn't get all messy when we fold it up. Get a good layer on there. Make sure you get the Nutella taste. Add a little bit more. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now after that is done, we're gonna put some bananas on and we're gonna put the bananas just right down the middle. Add a good even banana taste to it. So a little slippery. Don't let them run away from you. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna make sure that's all stuck. Then the last thing that we're gonna add to the filling are some good old strawberries. We sliced these up as well. So everything is nice and relatively thin. We're not gonna have too big of a crepe. Just add a, another good even layer. Okay, so now that we have a nice even line, we're gonna fold the one side just like that. And then I should have done two gloves, but we're gonna roll the rest of the crepe just like that. So now we're gonna add the powdered sugar. We're gonna add about a spoonful in there. Just gonna sift and hit it. That looks about good. I'm just gonna put that back in there. That. And then now, to completely top it off, we're going to take some Hershey's syrup and we're going to give it a good drizzle, like so. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. That's, That's really good. Okay, so that concludes this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you can tell when the next video is coming up. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.